Did you think that ball, that void hit in the ninth was out? At, at first, I, I certainly thought I had a chance, and then, uh, and then, and then I see Malik's kind of jumping up for it, and then, and then kind of the unknown, which, and then just watching the replay where that ball disappears behind his legs. That's what, uh, that's what. Judgy and Luke saw, thinking maybe he caught it, so he had to scramble back, so it turns into that situation. So, um, yeah, uh, valiant comeback there, but just couldn't finish it off. Look at that first inning with Tanaka, ran into a lot of trouble. What did you see with him on the mound? Well, you know, uncharacteristic, he, he walks a guy, hits a guy, you know, usually that's, you know, command-wise, and then, you know, for a guy that feels the position as well as he does, too, kind of overly aggressive on trying to make a play in air, and then we don't make a play behind him, and, um, and you know, just, he certainly wasn't sharp in that first inning, but, um, you know, we play a little cleaner, and, and, and we can limit the damage there. Does this outing at all change the way you view him in talking about who will be starting that wild card game? No, no, he's very much in that mix, and, you know, we know absolutely what he's capable of, especially his track record of pitching, obviously, in big games and stuff. Um, I, you know, I just thought it was a night where um, he didn't really have his good split finger going, and, um, you know, so it was, it was, it was more of a battle for him than, than even usual. I mean, you said before the game you didn't see any red flags from him in his last outing, but given that it's two in a row now, yeah. are you concerned with these two um, games going into the playoffs? No, no, because the, the outing against Boston, I thought the stuff was really good, and I thought the stuff was very similar to what we've seen, you know, really since he came back from the disabled list. Again, I thought it was some pitch selection, and um, this time he just didn't have a split, and, and that, you know, unfortunately is the pitch that a little can come and go usually he has it certainly of late he's had it so you know I mean it's all part of I guess how we you know evaluate and make our decisions and what we're thinking but it doesn't you know if if, if we decide Moss is going to be the guy you know we, I have tons of confidence that he can go out and deliver Um, <clears throat> walks a guy when he comes in, you know, that's, that's kind of unlike him, you know, just a, a little off command wise, maybe when he, when he comes right in there, um, feel like his stuff's all right. Um, in fact, uh, there's been a few outings, uh, mixed in here that I think his stuff's been outstanding. So, um, you know, we've leaned on him a lot. Um, obviously of late and, and, and want to get him down, but I'm not seeing anything that wouldn't suggest he's, he's going to be dynamic in, in some big spots for us. Aaron, is Walker okay? Walk, yeah, Walk had x-rays, which were negative. Um, you know, I, I, I just talked to him briefly after, and, you know, he's, he felt like he'd be good to go tomorrow, uh, but he got it right there, I think, in the middle of the shit. He got it pretty good, so hopefully... Uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll see how it is overnight, and uh, and we'll we'll see where we're at with them tomorrow. But nothing broken or anything. We thought of going to Torres or another guy instead of Wade uh, in the ninth yeah. as a pinch hitter. Not with Romo. Uh, yeah, no, you know, had they gone to the pen and, and, and pulled Romo out, then we would have, um, you know, considered something else. Yeah, um, but but I already view him in a very high leverage spot, and I viewed that tonight. You know, like yeah, I wouldn't hesitate to put him in there. I, I wouldn't say I'm definitely putting him back in that closer spot yet, but I'm definitely we're definitely seeing now that's three outings in a row where he's been clean. I feel like he's finding the strike zone really well. Tonight a lot more fastball. You know, last time out he showed he showed the slider a lot. I thought it was good that he pitched with his fastball tonight. So I thought another positive step for, for Aroldis and we'll see how he bounces back and continue to probably evolve his role again.